Folks, earlier today on the Daily Financial News for August 31st, we highlighted Jeff Green. Jeff Green is a billionaire who made his bones in the last great real estate crash. He is out now saying that we are in the first inning of a commercial real estate collapse. He is also telling us that the great opportunities are 12 to 24 months out, but you have to get ready today. In order to have this conversation, we're going to talk about some potential deals with the one and only Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself? I'm doing well, man. Do me a favor. Get that marketing thing out of the way so we can get into it and talk about some things that I see coming. You got it. So obviously, always grateful to be a part of the One Rental Time channel and always very grateful to be working for Velocity Mortgage Capital. But other than that, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's get it cracking. Yeah. So when I think about Jeff Green and what he shared on CNBC, people can go look it up. By the way, Green has an E on the end. It is silent. So if you look it up, it's Jeff Green with an E on the end, in at the end of Green. Um, he's talking about first inning of commercial pain, which we've talked about. He's talking about the greatest opportunities are 12 to 20, 12, 24 months out. He is undoubtedly talking about monster deals, 200, 400, 600 unit buildings. But as I've tried to excite my audience, Steve, mm -hmm. we're going to have the same opportunities in 10 unit, in 20 unit, in 40 unit mm -hmm. buildings. We're mm -hmm. going to have the opportunity to buy portfolios from people who were financial engineers and were running their balance sheet in a very gambling way. So I think <laughs> we're going to have the opportunity to strike some pretty special deals. So I want to, I want to look at some examples and mm -hmm. see what, see what you think. You ready? Yep. So one of the things that I see coming down the pipeline, probably in 12 months, is I'm going to have an opportunity to buy the largest commercial building um, yet, which, I, which I'm tentatively targeting 40 units, which would be twice the biggest thing we've bought so far. Okay. This is likely going to be purchased from somebody who got into the deal with bridge debt, mm -hmm. uh, who probably didn't have interest or rate caps, who probably tried to do a value add and got busted. And right. now they need to get out and their equity is gone. So my ultimate hope is obviously first is I'm going to just buy it directly from the lender, right? Which I've right. done in the past, mm -hmm. but let's say for example, maybe it wasn't a purchase. Let's say it was a refi maybe, right? They refied the building. It got a little wonky with it. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, maybe there is some equity. I really do think there's going to be deals that I could come in where Velocity comes in as a first, pays off the mm -hmm. existing debt. Right. And then because, you know, the seller, frankly, is, is not a great spot, they can either mm -hmm. take cash, which is a lower price, or mm -hmm. maybe I give them some of their value by giving them a second. Right. And then ideally, mm -hmm. I want to come in with the lease down right. so I can use my cash as make ready or repairs, sure. if you will, because again, right. this person probably, you know, halfway through a busted value add. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I get a lot of those like midstream, yeah, like, Oh, ran out of money. And yeah, I ran out of money. Shoot. So I think velocity provides the only product that I'm aware of that can help me. So, you know, what, what, what is it? What am I talking about? Well, I mean, I, I guess it, in that particular kind of uh, line of questioning, it's kind of multifaceted because again, sure. if you're talking about like, rehab or fix and flip type money, it's only pertaining to residential four units or less. But for commercial, right. and that's where your, your example does apply to one to four units. Oh yeah, good. Good. Commercial multifamily, the 90% uh, CLTV uh, aspect of your statement applies to that. So really it's just kind of, I mean, I've used this term a couple of times with a couple of clients or borrowers where this loan product is almost like the Swiss army knife of loan programs, because again, depending upon the situation, um, strategy, and resources for that particular deal, it'll determine which thing you're pulling out of the. <laughs> you know, is this yeah. like a, a magnifying glass on this deal, a toothpick, a you know, pair of scissors? Yeah. So, depending upon the property type, uh, if you have issues with you know uh, the condition of the property, um, shortage as far as you know money uh, for down payment, um, there's just so many different. Yeah. I guess, layers to issues that we can definitely assist in. So, um, yeah, as it pertains to that particular kind of statement, um, 
on regular turnkey ready, we're looking at 90% CLTV across the board on any property type, whether it be one to four unit, non-owner residential or commercial. So specifically when you talk about the commercial, it's helped out. We talked about it last week on that Indianapolis, Indiana deal. Yeah. Where yeah. it started off where regular deal, but couldn't find any comps because a smaller pocket, whatever, couldn't, wasn't selling. And previous, I think four or five escrows fell out because the same thing happened to those potential buyers. They couldn't find financing because every lender that they went to, I think, just, you know, yeah. had the same no, uh, issue. But the yeah, but the fact that we allowed up to a 90% CLTV, which no other lender did or does, gave the opportunity for the seller to then say, okay, well, I'm willing to carry the second because buyer doesn't have 50% to put down. Because we ultimately yeah. did it at 50%, even though we couldn't find comps. So we did 50% of the purchase price. But I would imagine maybe one or two of the other previous escrows might have had that option but i don't know if they had the other 50 percent to put down so no that yeah, that's that the key to this the deal. again i think the key coming again i'm, I'm putting it out into the universe mm -hmm. then buying our, our next biggest property it might even be bigger than 40 units is i'm going to find a seller who is who needs to sell right they're motivated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh they're likely going to get a bunch of you know cash buyers writing disrespectful offers that is just too much of a haircut for them mm-hmm I'm going to come in maybe 10 or 15 or maybe even 20% higher on the purchase right. price, but we're right. going to structure the deal mm -hmm. where the seller takes most of his gravy or extra as a loan right down the road, right? Right down the road. And mm -hmm. then for me, I'm going to come in with a super low down, like 10%. So best for me, low down, keep my cash reserves for the next deal or value add. And, and it's 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 just going to be a way to get a great win win I think, right? Well, again, just I know the the product or my product specifically, or even that particular aspect of the product may not apply to every particular you know scenario, obviously. But when it does, it's a beautiful thing. It really is because again, you could pretty much accomplish everybody's you know desires on the deal, and that's not very often because usually somebody gets the short of it i guess yeah. to some degree uh but in this case yeah you find that that nice medium between the two of hey the seller's willing to take x amount now and can stand however long until they get the rest of their money yeah. and then the numbers need to make sense for the buyer but i've seen a lot of times from day one it's cash flowing at 90 percent leverage exactly you know exactly. what i mean so so and and yeah. and from that standpoint, it lowers the the possibility of it even you know defaulting because again, if the rent covers both my loan and the seller's loan, you know what I mean. So yeah. it 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 works out. So numbers the numbers do make sense, but you just got to do the work and kind of crunch I, the numbers. I, I, and I want people to hear this mm -hmm. because again, I I the the opportunities if Jeff Green is right, if I'm right, are going to just if we're in the first inning, this this has got a long way to play out. But I want you to realize the Swiss Army knife, to use your term, you can pay a little more, <laughs> beat out the cash buyers, and right. actually lower your freaking payment. Right. Right? If, if these cash buyers or they're coming in with a loan, putting 30% down, they're going to get 8% mm -hmm. interest rate or 9 or whatever it is today. Mm -hmm. You can come in, get 9 or 10 on the 50%, go get a 1% on the 40 your blended rates right. in the sixes. Right. Learn how to use the Swiss Army knife of 90% CLTV. <laughs> Agreed. I mean, you, how do they do that? Well, it's been happening quite often oh, with this name. It's gaining a lot of traction. I'll tell you that much. So email those the best. It's going to be S-D-A-O at Velocity, the word mortgage uh, spelled out, dot com. In the subject line, please remember to put the acronym O-R-A-A-T. That makes it past the firewall. A lot of times I'm getting emails delayed sent to me because of the fact that I got to go through, you know, the quarantine and, and then get that out of there. Um, body the email, brief description, what you're looking for. Property address would be the best. If not, at least city and state where the property's located or where that you're interested in investing, just to make sure that I lend there. Mid FICO score, best phone number reach at, and I'll typically be in touch in 24, 48 hours. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Mike.